I only came to co-host a talk show because I had failed at news and I was going to be fired. And the news director was paying me 22000 a year. God only knows what my co-anchor was making. Uh, but <laughs> was paying me 22000 a year and they thought they were paying me too much money to, um, to only just do news stories. And so I'd been taken off the six o'clock news and was, was put on the early morning, like 5.30 cut-ins, and they tried to convince me at the time. They said, you know, you are, you're so good that you need your own time period, so we're going to give you five minutes at 5.30 in the morning. And I was devastated because up until that point, I had, I'd sort of cruised. I really hadn't thought a lot about my life or the direction it was taking. I just, because I'd happened into television, happened into radio, sort of happenstanced. Um, I don't believe in luck. I think luck is preparation meeting opportunity, but I, I, I felt like I had somewhat prepared myself, but that I had happenstanced into it. So I thought, okay, I w was working in Nashville, and so I moved to Baltimore, and now then I'll do this for a while, and then I don't know what I'll do. And so when I was called in and put on the edge of being fired and certainly demoted and knew that firing was only a couple weeks away, I was like devastated. I was 22 and, I mean, embarrassed by the whole thing uh, because I'd never failed before. And it was that failure that led to the talk show because they had no place else to put me. They put me on a talk show one morning. And the, the, I'm telling you, the hour I interviewed, my very first interview was the Carvel Ice Cream Man and um, Benny from All My Children. Never forget it. And I came off the air thinking, this is what I should have been doing. Because it was, it was like breathing to me. Like breathing. You just talk. Be yourself is really what I've learned to do. And so um, from the very first day I, I did my very first talk show, I felt, I knew it. I knew it was the right thing to do. I felt the same thing about acting too, only I was so terrified that um, it was a little more difficult for me. If you want an amazing clip of a young Serena and Venus Williams, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. I would like to be a tennis player. If there's something else you want to say, what would you say? A veterinarian. Uh, I think I'd be an archaeologist. Really? Yes. What interests you about archaeology? 